Since the 1930s, the BBC has had this sculpture outside its headquarters in London. The statue involves a man standing just behind the naked child, holding something in his hand, and is called the Prospero and Ariel statue, from Shakespeare's play The Tempest. The artist behind this statue is this dirty rat, Eric Gill. This scumbag disclosed in his diaries how he raped his daughters, had a sexual relationship with his sister, and also his dog, a term otherwise known as bestiality. This man is the definition of vermin. Now the question I pose to those listening is, would any of you feel comfortable looking at this statue, knowing the man behind it and what he did? Well, at the start of this year, there was a man who was not a fan of this statue, and he took a hammer to it. Some journalist's reaction to this event at the time was very telling, calling the sculpture genuine art and the man a vandal. I came across a Guardian article in 2017, which implied if people could still admire this creep's work. Another thing which pops to mind was the takedown of the Edward Colston statue in Bristol. Colston was a slave trader, and in the height of the BLM protests and riots back in 2020, left-wing activists took the statue down. Yet there seems to be no organised movement to remove this statue. The question remains, however, is why on earth won't the BBC remove it? Thanks for listening, everyone. Bye.